Hello everybody. In this session you are going to learn about a class which is called aves. So aves consist of mainly the true birds. So this is the class which has lot of colorful birds in there. We see that the birds they originated by the end of Jurassic period of Mesozoic era and the study of bird is called as ornithology. Coming to their body we see that they have a boat shaped structure and also their body is divided into four main regions these are head neck trunk and tail the birds they have the entire covering of feathers which is called as plumage so flu plumage is nothing but a covering of feathers next we see that they have scales present only on the hind limb and rest all the parts are do not having the scales they have some preen glands present so although the glands are not present on the entire surface their usually skin is dry but only on the tail region or in the hind limb we can say that they have preen glands present these preen glands or the oil glands they produce some amount of oil which keeps these feathers on the tail moist next we see that their forelimb is modified into wings also when we talk about their endoskeleton we see that they have lot of bones present in them so they have a bony structure in which they have ribs etc coming to the sternum we see that the end of the sternum is kind of swollen and we call it keel so this keel it provides the surface for the attachment of muscles so the flight muscles they get attached to the surface of sternum which is called as keel also we see that the two bones the clavicle and the interclavicle they fuse together to form a v shaped structure which is called as focula so this focula can also be called as wishbone or merithod bone so this was about the endoskeleton of the body of aves or the birds next when we talk about the digestive system we see that they have a complete digestive system but here the esophagus it gets modified into crop and gizzard so crop is present for the ingestion of food and gizzard is present for the crushing of food also the teeth are absent on the jaws and here we see that the jaws they are modified into a horny beak like structure coming to the respiratory system we see that they have spongy lungs present in them to respire also the sound producing organ in the birds is called as syrinx so like we have larynx in our throat here they have syrinx so this was about the respiratory system next when we look at the circulatory system here we see that now they have completely developed heart four chambered heart so till reptiles we had seen that reptiles had incompletely four chambered heart but here they have complete four chambered heart but here we see that the only right aortic arch is present left is absent also the hepatic portal system is well developed whereas the renal portal system is ill developed next we see the excretory system so in them kidneys are present which are metanephric type and these animals are also uricotelic next coming to the nervous system we see that now finally the brain is large it is well developed also coming to the cerebellum it is also well developed in birds the cranial nerves are found to be 12 in pair and when we talk about the skull region we see that the skull is considered to be monocondylic as there is only one occipital condyle present next we see that they have got some sense organs also for example like they have got eyes and in the eyes they have nictitating membrane present along with that there is also something called pectin present so this pectin it helps in the adaptation of eyes and also it provides nourishment to the eyes so this is pectin this pectin is only absent in case of kiwi so this pectin is very important next we see in the ear the external ear is present but the ear pin are absent also the cochlea is present but it is not spiral coming next to the reproductive system we see that birds are unisexual the fertilization in them is internal they are oviparous that means that they lay eggs and their leg eggs are megalocytal again they have lot of yolk in them next we see the development so the development is direct which means that they do not form any larval stage and finally we see the first warm blooded animals which are birds 
So these are some of the general characteristics of birds in which we have seen that in them the plumage is present. So the entire surface is covered with the help of feathers and wings. Also the green glands are present only on the tail surface so as to provide the moisture. Also we see that the forelimbs are modified into wings. So now the birds can fly and to fly the flight muscles are attached at the lower surface of sternum called as keel. The bones of birds are called as pneumatic bones because they are filled with air. So we can see these are the hollow bones that's why we call them pneumatic bone. So these are some of the characteristics of aves. Moving forward let's have a look at the classification. The class aves is divided into two subclasses and these are Arachurinthus and second is Neornithus. So first when we talk about Arachurinthus, we see that these are the primitive lizard like birds okay, and they belong to Jurassic period. So all the members of this subclass they are extinct. In them the wings were ill developed and the capacity to fly we can say was very less. We also see that in them the keel was absent in the sternum and the most common example can be Archaeopteryx which is also called as lizard bird. So it was it is considered as the connecting link between reptiles and birds. The second subclass which is Neonithis, this subclass includes mostly live animals and extinct animals of post Jurassic period. Here we see that the wings are well developed and these are used in flying. The sternum it is bigger with keel present in it. Now some species except for some species we can say that rest all birds are toothless. This subclass it is classified again under four super orders. So there are four super orders under the subclass Neonithis. The first super order is Odontognithi which means that these animals are extinct and they were having teeth. The keel was also absent in them. For example, Hesperornis. This is an example of super order Odontognithi. Next is the super order second which is Empenei. All these members, all the members of this super order are aquatic birds. So their forelimbs are modified into flippers. The teeth are absent and also the sternum does not have a keel. For example, the penguins or we can call them Aptenoditis. So penguin or Aptenoditis, it belongs to the super order Impenae which consists of aquatic birds. The third superclass is Paleognathae. So Paleognathae, we see that it includes large and massive birds which are flightless in nature. So, their sternum is raft like which lacks keel again. The oil glands or preen glands are also absent in them. The most common example is Struthio. The Struthio or the African ostrich, it is the largest living bird of modern period. The last super order is Neognathi. So, this super order includes small sized flight birds of modern era. So their wings are well developed, the keel in the sternum is highly developed and its crop glands it secrete pigeon milk. Their beak is also toothless and the sound producing syrinx is present. For example, pavo cristatus meaning the peacock which is the national bird of India. Second is columba livia which is also called blue rock pigeon. Next is Passer domesticus which is nothing but the sparrow. Next is Corvus splendens meaning the crow. So these are the four sub orders which belong to the subclass Neornithis. So this was about the classification of aves in which we have seen the two subclasses and the different orders. So now we can simply sum up aves by saying that they have thin dry skin which is covered with feathers that conserve body heat. Their forelimbs are modified into wings, fingers without claws, toes armed with claws, spongy little elastic lungs with air sacs opening into them. Also they have a voice box which is called as syrinx. 
and we see that the heart is four chambered their eggs are amniotic the fertilization is internal there are no larval stages and also that they generate body heat by rapid metabolism they also show nest building and parental care so this was about the aves